Hello there Apps by viewers, my name is Peter and I've got a hands-on preview for you. This time it's with Starseed, specifically the Starseed demo, because this is an early preview build that I've got my hands on here. The game is from Shane McCafferty and uh, you might recognise Shane McCafferty's name from uh, an extremely popular word game called Crobble from Fuzzy Face Studios, but this certainly is no word game, this is a shmup, and a shmup in the old school sense. So this isn't your cave era bullet hell Dan Marku kind of stuff. This is your Commodore 64 Iridium-esque inspired type of a game. And let me explain to you how the game's working. So I tap and hold on the screen and then I sort of swipe my finger around the screen and that allows me to move my ship in a one-to-one -one motion. So I'm moving up the screen now and then, oh, colliding with something and showing you how bad I am at the game. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm swiping left, I'm swiping right and so on. You you, you understand how this works out. It's uh, it, it's a good control system uh, and it, it's worked for other shmups in the past and it certainly works for this one. I'm shooting automatically, which is an absolute godsend because basically you just want to be shooting all of the time. So you certainly don't need a little button on the screen telling you to do so. What I need to do is I've managed to get the shield down for this dreadnought that's underneath and I need to destroy all of the ships that are docked on it. So not just these ships that are ah, not just these ships that are floating around me, but also these ships underneath. Look, you can see that I'm destroying those. I'm gonna pick up that bonus if I if I can. Come on. Yes, and now I can shoot faster. But yeah, I need to destroy these things, and then once the once they're all gone, the dreadnought will be destroyed, and I can move on. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Nice, okay, so we managed to do that. And because this thing's gonna explode, there's gonna be some debris, and I need to move on through this field. Watch out, watch out, watch out. There we go, there we go. See how a master does it? Master does it like that. In the top right-hand corner, you see that I've got a certain number of lives. You can add to those lives by picking up a heart and my top score in the top left-hand corner, or at least the score I've got at the moment. Mission complete, technology assimilated. So my craft will also change as I move through each of these stages. Each of these stages is named after a metal band, or a hard rock band in the very least. So this is Sabbath. And the gameplay loops, effectively. You're, you're kind of doing the same thing in each stage, or at least as far as I've seen. Oh, I've got managed to get my splitter shot here. Uh, as far as I've seen in the three stages that are presented in this, in this early demo. So you are doing the same thing over and over again. It's not quite as spectacular, therefore, as a, a cave shmup, or a Raiden, or, or, or something along those lines. But the core gameplay is really strong, and that's what is key here. This is a game that is harking back to an earlier form, you know, the Commodore 64 era of shooter, and uh, it's 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 remaining true to that that style of play. And I think that that's uh, that's certainly an amiable kind of thing to do. So. The design of these ships looks absolutely fantastic. I think this 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 art style just looks really legit. But everything moves a, along at a good pace, smoothly, uh, and the backgrounds are, are, are sort of. It's got that impressive 3D that still impresses me from the PS1 era of impressive 3D. So going back and playing uh, ridiculous games like Darius Gaiden or whatever, and and uh, and seeing sort of flat 2D textures rotating in 3D still impresses me in a in a <laughs> sort of, I don't know, is that a cute way? I don't know, uh, maybe that's sort of showing off my age now. But, so, ah, I managed to destroy myself, that's not good, gonna grab that shield. Basically, I think that this is looking like it's gonna shape up to be pretty damn good. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think if you're a shmup fan, especially if you're a retro shmup fan, and you're maybe disappointed at how uh, some of those ports have done. I think that this is going to be a much, uh, much more exciting, certainly a more refreshing take on that genre. So there we are. That is Starseed. Let me know if you're looking forward to it in the comments. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.